Hey, what's up, everyone? Well, it's the morning time. Morgan's watching a little TV, having a little juice. I was up late last night. I did a little quick tutorial for you for uh, Filmora if you're using that. And basically, in the tutorial, I show you real quick how to import stuff and how to cut and then speed film up or the video clip and then slow it down. So I use that a lot in my drone footage. Hopefully, you guys can use it in what you do. And, um, you know, like subscribe and thanks for watching but uh i'm gonna finish my coffee because it's my second cup right now the kids are off to school and Alyssa and i are gonna head to the gym in a little bit so i want to get this uh done for you and uploaded so it gives you something to watch today but uh thanks for watching the channel and uh we'll see you soon enjoy all right hey everyone now that we're uh, actually in our filmora software if you haven't downloaded this already make sure you do uh you can go to google and just do a search for it there'll also be a link in the description below to where you can get a free trial for this software if you uh, are new to youtube or new to video editing i highly recommend it it has a very low learning curve and uh, i use it for all my youtube videos and uh for right now it fits all my needs and uh Wondershare has come out with some great products. I'm actually using them for my screen capture right now and a few other things. I like it because it's very simple. It's very, you know, point and click and there's not too many things that I have to jump through in order to find it. So the first thing we want to do is want to import some video and I'm going to show you how we're going to use the uh, editing software to speed up a video then go back to regular speed and how to create that effect especially with drone shots like I use my drone for a lot of real estate stuff so we're going to import a video I did not too long ago this is all the stuff from one house and I just got to make sure I upload the right one because for some reason my drone shoots two of them all right so here we go we're going to do the max 002 all right so you have your clip you're just going to hit open it's going to import it for you All right, so there we go. So now it's imported, and what you're going to do is you want to just take it and drag it to your timeline, like so. And now what we're going to do is we're going to do some cuts, and I'll show you how to do that. This right here is the clip we're going to be working with. And before we do that, what I like to do is, especially if I have a couple big clips, I'm going to be cutting everything up to make a, uh, a smooth video with transitions or jump cuts. I like to go uh, right-click on the... Uh, on the piece of timeline that I'm working on or the section of film that I'm working on or video rather hit edit and then I like to come up here where the 3D LUTs are and this is what comes with the program at 007 all the way down to warm film now what these do is these actually change the look of the um, video that you're shooting so depending on what your mood is or what you're going for you can change it for each clip whatever kind of uh, uh, video you're shooting whether it's you know a short movie, a YouTube clip, just to add some type of feeling to it and you know, emotion, so to speak, between changing it from just what you originally shot to, you know, along with some music. Uh, and then when you get down here to the Arctic Circle, all the way down to that teal and orange, these are all from a YouTuber, uh, Peter McKenney, and uh, if I can find the links for it, I'll put it in the description below. But um, he's a big YouTuber. He's only been on the scene for about nine months, and... The stuff he does is really good. He does a lot of really good tutorials. He's way more advanced than I am, but he came up with these LUTs, and I like the way they add that cinematic look to it. And one of the two I use a lot is the uh, Clean and Tidy. I like the way it makes everything look, uh, especially for indoor shots when it comes to real estate. And then the uh, Kodak Killer is also pretty good. So we're going to go with the Kodak Killer today. And what this allows us to do is once we select it, we hit OK. Now when we cut our clip, that's going to stay with each part so we don't have to go back afterwards and change each one. Now, the only other option that I know of with the Filmora software is that once, let's say you have, you know, five minutes worth of video, you have seven or eight different sections in here, maybe even more with, you know, transitions or what have you, and you want that look throughout, you have to either export it, then bring it back into the timeline and add that LUTs to it or do each one individually. So after making that mistake a few times, I just do it all as I'm working on the clip. So first thing you want to do is you want to grab your little slider here and go along your timeline to where you want to make your first cut. Now for me on this video, you can see that the, that the drone is moving around a little bit. So I'm going to go right about there now this is going to be a little bit slower on my computer because this is all shot in 4k my computer is a little bit older but um 
and I got all kinds of crazy stuff from in the background, but it still still gets the job done. So once you have that part that you want to remove, which would be right here, you just want to right click on it and you just want to hit delete or you can hit delete on your keyboard and that's going to get rid of it. Then what I want to do is um, actually let me go back and I'll show you how I made that cut. Uh, so once you find your selection, you want to make sure that you have this little pink outline around the, the clip that you're working on. And up here you have a few tools. And the one I use the most is um, the cut or the snip tool. So that's just going to be used for your jump cuts and everything else. So you just want to click on that. Then like I said, that piece you want to get rid of, right click on it, hit delete, it's gone. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this up to right about here. And I'm going to do another cut. And so once you're working on this, you have to, <coughs> excuse me, you have to click on this again, your timeline or your uh, piece of film and hit the snip tool. And then what I'm going to do is this is a piece that I'm going to speed up. So I want to have it go from there all the way up to the house, right? about there and then I'm going to snip it again and then this is how we're going to speed this part up because right now it's at normal speed I'm going to right click on it go back to edit or you can hit alt E and right here you have your speed so you can either slow it down way down if you want to do like some type of cinematic like opening for one of your YouTube channels and you want to have that slow walk or something like that to some music you this is where you would do it but for this purpose I want to speed it up I'm going to go up to five sometimes I find like ten really too fast and I might use that if I'm doing some filming on a road going from one place to another just to uh, help with the transition so once I have it where I want it I'm gonna you can preview it if you want and for my computer like I said see it's going slow but once we get it into the actual once it's rendered you'll see that it actually looks good so I'm gonna hit OK and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slide this up to let's see so this is where the cut comes so now we're going to start panning out from the house to right about here uh, we'll go right about here to where you start to see the water's edge i'm going to make sure this is highlighted again do another cut or snip and then i'm going to bring this out all the way to about here because this is my piece now i'm going to you know uh speed up and then I'm going to go back to edit and go right to the timeline and bring it up to five and hit OK. And then I know on this clip that on the last part, it starts to do some funny panning. So right about there is where I'm going to clip it again and then just highlight this piece, right click, delete. Now my clip's done. Now what I want to do is I want to import some video, I mean some audio or some music so I'm going to click on the music tab and for this I'm going to go down to my music and this is one I think I got off of YouTube and uh, I like the way it sounds so we're going to just drag it down here and as you can see when I'm dragging it down it automatically brings it to the first music or sound line as far as where the sound's going to be and then you can cut it all I do sometimes is I just go to the end and I just drag it over and then once you have that, so now you got your music, your video is cut, you have your LUTs and how you want the video to look. Now, if you wanted to, you can go to text and credit, and then you can just, I like to hit on, um, where are they, the hand-drawn ones, and you can pick whatever end you want, and I'm just going to go with uh, this one here. And again, you see how it brings it right down to the line where it's supposed to be, bring it up to the end, and so when you hit it, and then I'll just drag this uh, music out to the end of that. So when it's here, I hit play. And there you go. Now you can change that text if you want by, uh, by right clicking on it, hit edit. And then you can move it around over here. You can change it, anything you want, change the color. There's a whole bunch of stuff, but I'm not going to get into it for this video. So I'm just going to hit OK. And now what I want to do is I want to go up to export here because we're going to export this and see what the final product looks like. I'm going to hit create video. I already have my resolution set. Now you can go all the way up to uh, 4K if you want. And this video was shot in 4K, so I could. But I'm going to bring it down to 1080 um, for uh, like if I was going to upload it to YouTube or uh, something like that. So 
and put it at 29.79 frames per second. I'm going to boost it up to 30. And uh, other than that, we should be good. Hit OK. And then we're going to hit Export. And uh, I'll change this to Drone Test 1 for the video here. And uh, hit Export. And now it's going to export for us. Okay, so now that everything has been rendered and converted, you'll see creating movie. Last thing we'll say is uh, under steps, mission completed. I have reminders. So now we're going to hit find target to see what our video looks like. Now here's a couple of the videos I've been working on and different listings and stuff like that and YouTube stuff. So here is the drone test one that we just did. So we're going to double click on that to open it up and see what it looks like. So let me pause it real quick so you can see that it starts off right where we, let, where we had it start. We got our music now in the background. We have the LUTs going on that gives it that Kodak feel to it. And this is what the video is going to look like. And there's the speed up to the house and then the slowdown. And now we're gonna start going backwards. And you can see with those cuts, it makes it nice and smooth. There's really no choppiness to it. Um, the only time you see a choppiness is if you're doing like voice work or you're actually in front of the camera. It's panning back out, then it slows down, opens up the property in the lake, and then the end. So, like I said, that worked out great. It was quick. You saw how fast and easy it was. And, uh, you know, if you wanted to and you wanted to import it or export it out to an iPhone, iPad, Apple TV, Galaxy S5 for some reason. I'm sure it's for all the Galaxies. Android Generic. They have all this stuff here. You can do it right to uh, Facebook, right to YouTube, and then a few other things. So, and then you can put your descriptions in and stuff like that. You can see I just did one for vlog number seven. But when you do that, make sure you change the quality to 1080p. That's the most that YouTube will let you use. But as you can see, it's fairly easy to import the uh, the media that you want to use for your clip. It's very easy to cut it by using the snip tool right here. Uh, once you highlight the, the uh, part you want to cut, it is super easy when you want to bring in audio and text because it as you drag it from up here in your little working window, it automatically puts it to where it needs to be. And, uh, you know, I hope you've uh, learned something from this video. It showed you how to add stuff and then use the, uh, the feature under the edit button to enhance the speed to either speed it up, slow it down, and then to change the, uh, the feel of the video with the LUTs or if you want to go through and do the contrast, saturation, brightness, and tint on your own, you can. So I just want to say, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, leave a comment below and a question. I'd be more than happy to answer it when it comes to Filmora or anything like that. Thanks, and have a good one.